The public messaging on coronavirus has at least three layers. First, what you're reading and watching on various media outlets. Fortunately, from what I understand, you know, <coughs> it is contagious. Then there's statements made by President Trump. We are ready. We are ready. And finally, the raw data coming from the World Health Organization, the U.S.-based CDC, and various local and state health officials. Well, UC Davis, there are a few dozen people that have been quarantined. In fact, Friday evening, health officials in Santa Clara, California, confirmed the state's second suspected coronavirus case, which has no apparent connection to foreign travel, a.k.a. community spread. We do need everyone to start thinking about what actions they can take now so we can be prepared for the possibility of further spread of the virus in our community. Meantime, in New York City Hall, there are no confirmed cases of coronavirus in the city of New York. Mayor Bill de Blasio offered a status update that is widely expected to reach an expiration date. That explains why local health officials, like Mount Sinai's emergency department director, are bracing for that first case. They screen positive, we move them to a special kind of room. And a full-on outbreak of coronavirus, just in case things get that bad. And while we have no crystal ball, there is no denying the growing number of countries across the globe with reported cases of coronavirus. We ask people, do you have any flu-like symptoms? Have you been to Italy, uh, China, you know, et cetera? So now we have this running tally. The count is now approaching 65 confirmed cases of coronavirus here in the United States, three of those now of unknown origin. Corey, Tamsin. All right, Jay, thank you so much for the update tonight. Well, a New Jersey lab has developed a faster test for the coronavirus. Current tests can take days as samples have to be sent away to the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta. This test can take as little as two hours. The lab in Nutley says they would use the utmost safety protocols. It is a negative pressure facility, meaning no air leaves without being filtered. We want to be able to have a test uh, that's local that we can use. We can use it for triage and give us a good sense as to what, what we're dealing with. Well, New Jersey's Department of Health just got clearance today to begin testing for coronavirus. Well, I'll tell you, fears about this virus are sending the markets plummeting around the world. Stocks just posted their worst week since the 2008 financial crisis. Yeah, traders at the New York Stock Exchange were in crisis mode at closing bell today. And this impacts you even if you don't have money in the stock market. Pix 11's, Pix 11's Henry Rossoff has more. The worst week on Wall Street since the 2008 recession stripped away $4 trillion in wealth over fears of the coronavirus and the Trump administration's handling of it. All the gains for the last two years have been wiped out. But certified public accountant Vincent Paolicelli says for most people, the drama around the market really should not impact their day-to-day -day lives. Most people who are investors are invested through a 401k, through a pension, through a retirement plan. So they're really not necessarily watching it. They're kind of cringing. Palicelli says if you do have significant assets, try and take a breath. At this point, there's no choice but to ride things out. This is something on a very short-term nature. You've got to ride the wave. Unless there's some indication that this is going to have far-reaching, long-term effects, and I just don't see it. But complicating matters is the 2020 election. Democrats across the board have taken shots at the president. Number one, he fired the pandemic team two years ago. Number two, he's been defunding Centers for Disease Control, so we don't have the experts in place that we need. In turn, President Trump and his staff, who've often pointed to the soaring stock market as a sign of economic strength, have defended the government's preparation efforts and accused his political rivals of just whipping up hysteria. They think this is going to be what brings down the president. That's what this is all about. Paolo Celli says if the goal is to calm the American public and stabilize the markets, both sides are wrong. The politicking makes it a win-win, lose-lose situation.